Representative Tim Burchett has landed himself into a little bit of legal trouble over his attempt to blame undocumented immigrants for a mass shooting, the mass shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. Now, Representative Burchett shared a photo of a Kansas man who was neither an immigrant nor the shooter to millions of people before taking the photo down. Here's what he posted. One of the Kansas City Chiefs victory parade shooters has been identified as an illegal alien. A survey says that... Bullshit. But by the time that it was removed from social media, it was too late. It was seen by millions of people spread around to millions of people. The man suing Burchett is Denton Loudermill of Olath, Kansas. And once again, neither an undocumented immigrant nor one of the shooters who were identified later on as two teenagers. Loudermill was just there to celebrate. Chiefs were his team. Makes sense in all the sense in the world. That said, the photo of him handcuffed by responding police got around to social media. Uh, one of those photos was taken and shared by Burchett, as I mentioned. Um, now, the legal complaint notes that this had garnered about 7.2 million views over the next three days and was reposted about 21,600 times. Loudermill is suing Burchett for something called false light invasion of privacy. It, not defamation. So that's different. Now, his lawyers argue that Burchett's publication of untrue statements about him resulted in damages in excess of about $75,000. The lawsuit mentions mental distress, sleeplessness, anxiety, and agitation, in addition to emotional suffering, as examples of the damage Burchett caused. Being falsely accused of not only a mass shooting, which is horrifying, uh, but also being an undocumented immigrant in America today, that is a combination of which you could get murdered in this country for, honestly. Uh, the way that the right wing has been whipped up against un uh, undocumented immigrants, people who are not undocumented immigrants, or just immigrants are being, you know, harassed, assaulted, you know. It, oh, are you an immigrant? Show me your papers! I mean, it's gotten to an insane level, and even violence. So, the right wing, they've gone absolutely mental about it. Calling it uh, an evasion, proposing the murder of immigrants on the border if they see them cross. It, it's just insane. The only people that the right wing seems to blame more for mass shootings are trans people, despite the fact that the majority of mass shooters in this country are cisgender white males. Yeah, I know. Uh, but hey, uh, facts, uh, apparently, don't, doesn't matter to them. Just forget about the evidence. So yeah, I can see mental distress coming as a result of somebody accusing you of this heinous crime of being a mass shooter. So now I mentioned that this is not a defamation lawsuit. It is a false light of invasion of privacy. Uh, now that case is different from defamation in that it covers false information distributed to the mass public through social media. Laddermill's lawyers argued the defendant knew or should have known that this, his inflammatory posts in social media would be seen and read nationwide. The false statements that Laddermill was both the shooter and an undocumented immigrant were circulated widely among defendants' followers and defendants' false assertions about plaintiff were reposted and widely circulated to more than one million people around the world. Now, the lawsuit clarifies that Laddermill was never detained as a suspect by Kansas City police. Officers stopped him as he was leaving the parade and told him he was moving too slowly, at which point he was handcuffed and sat on a curb. You know, for moving too slowly. During the 10 minutes in which Loudermill was seated there, others in the area took photos of him, which were posted and spread over social media. Burchett found that, and the rest is history. So, here's the thing. I do understand, like, people taking photos and be like, oh my god, is, could this be the shooter? At that point, we didn't have any information. We didn't know who the shooter was. So, I understand that, Okay. Speculation is understandable, but you do have to be careful before you start spreading things around and saying, this is the guy. And that's what Burchett did. Remember his post, not only is he the shooter, was identified as a shooter, according to Burchett's post, backed up by nothing, 
but that he was also an illegal alien. Once again, backed up by absolutely nothing. Burchett knew that. He knew that. What he was doing was posting fake news, false information for a political motive, for a political angle, the blaming of undocumented immigrants for violence. Which, by the way, undocumented immigrants commit way less crimes than people who are, you know, full American citizens in America. Now, Burchett uh, got busted, and I hope at the end of the day, he's got to pay.